What's up guys, NBA Talk, second video of the night for us. Um, you already know what I'm about to talk about. The Golden State Warriors. <laughs> I saw this coming, but not for this game. Not for this game, but I knew Clay Thompson was going to do some type of thing like this sooner or later because I don't know if you guys have been following um like closely at Clay Thompson's career for the last couple of years. Like for the last couple of years, couple of seasons, there's always been that one game where he just goes off. Like every season, like almost every other season. Yeah, yeah, like every season in the past he had one monster game and everybody was talking crap about him for the last week because he hasn't been himself throughout the season so far like from the beginning to now until now he hasn't been himself and then this happened what he dropped like 10 threes in the first half like in that first quarter, I just like, oh boy. <laughs> like when he when he went back to back threes, when he pulled up like Stephen Curry, like Stephen his teammate, he just pulled up on the Chicago Bull, Bulls player, just pull up a three on him, and he just made it. I knew it was done. I knew Stephen. I knew Clay Thompson was about to go off. And then the second quarter, he did it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. And he kept doing it even after, but he was missing a lot more than he was making it in the second half, but he was killing it. He made four out of ten threes, I believe, in the second half, but... <laughs> he he murdered the Chicago Bulls. Um, So, the score is 149 to 124. The Golden State Warriors obviously won. They had 90 points in the first half, almost 100 points. That would have been, that would be history making if they had 100 points. They are really marking themselves down as the greatest team of all time. They are the greatest team ever assembled. They're really marking themselves that. And even though it's against the Chicago Bulls who are still developing, you know what, let me get to the stats first because I have to talk about the Chicago Bulls and how poorly they played. Klay Thompson, 52 points, he ended up um, five rebounds. He was 14 out of 24 threes. 14 is the new NBA record for threes in the game. Passing Stephen Curry with 13, now 14 with Klay Thompson. 18 from 29 from the field overall. Stephen Curry had 23 points. Eight rebounds, five assists, three steals. Um, Kevin Durant played only 28 minutes, 14 points, three rebounds, eight assists. He was five for ten. He didn't really take much shots because, of course, Klay Thompson, he was getting all the ball. Like Stephen Curry, he was seven for nine from the field. Um, Draymond Green, 11 assists, six rebounds, three block shots. He got 11 assists from that Klay Thompson shots. Zero turnovers by Ad. And then you got the bench players doing some work too. Um, you got Quinn Cook dropping 16 points. You got this guy named McKinney. McKinney, am I correct? Because I, I think this is the first time I've ever seen him play. Uh, maybe you guys too. Um, 19 points, 10 rebounds, 20, 27 minutes. Obviously crunch time. And 10 points from Jerbinko. That's it. The team shot 54% for the field, 53% for the three, 50 rebounds, 34 assists, and only seven turnovers. Monster game. And no expect. I knew Clay Thompson was going to go, go off, but I didn't know when. But it's happened. He finally got that big moment for himself. This is going to say Warriors are not going to let up. So, now for the Bulls. This has to be absolutely embarrassing as a 
even though you're facing the best team in the NBA, the defending champions, there is no excuse to allow a, a team to drop 90 points, almost 100 points on your head. On your head. That, there is no excuse. That's embarrassing. The office should be looking at you. They be, should be chewing you out. There is no way you are supposed to allow a team to drop one almost 100 points. They dropped 90 points in a half. They ended up with 149 points on your head, even though you have 124 points. Who cares? Like, who cares? You, you got thrashed. Tonight, the second half you played a little bit more. You played much better on the offensive end, but you got thrashed. Zach Levine dropped twenty-one points, uh, six rebounds, two assists, two steals. Um, Carmen Payne, fifteen points, eighteen points from the boy uh, Carter Jr. He also picked up seven rebounds, four assists. And then off the bench, you got Jamari Parker, 15 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. He's doing well. He's getting those minutes, and he's proving himself pretty well. Uh, you got Blakey, Blake Knee with 21 points. Harrison with 13. The team shot 48% from the field, 31% from the three, 43 rebounds, 25 assists, 8 turnovers. You got to do better. You should be chewed out by the head coach. You should be chewed out by the front office because there is no excuse for what just happened to you. No excuse. I don't care the defending champions. You don't allow them to drop that much points on your head. That's all I have to say for this. So, go to say Warriors, Clay Thompson, just, just sending them to their graves. So that's it. They're six and one. Well, actually seven and one. Seven and one. The Golden State Warriors. So peace.